Hello, good morning, all of you online guys. Yeah, all of you online guys, can you please share your mail IDs and phone numbers today also? Right. So as for the second demo, then we'll see today. How can we interact with the databases by using SQL Server by using pure SQL language? We'll see. And before that, I would like to recap just five to six minutes and what we discussed yesterday. So yesterday we have all discussed about data and data formats and data storage solutions, how the data presents in databases and file systems. Two major storages are there to store our data. One is a file. And then second one is database. How it will load the data in files and databases. Familiar database vendors and SQL. That is yesterday we all discussed. Data is nothing but collection of information or unit of information. So it is going to be present in different ways. In numbers, characters and dates, image format and video format. Any data involved. Whatever data if you are selected, the data should be commander. Either a structured or unstructured or semi-structured format only. So wherever we are storing the data, according to the system, wherever we are going to be store our data, that is we call it as a data storage, either in files or in databases, lot of file formats are available nowadays to store our data. These are all our files. File level, we can store our data, doc format, Excel format, PPT, and JPEG image format, and GIF. Like this, our data we can store in files easily. Advantages and disadvantages, both are there. Whenever if you are selected a file to store our data, So copy paste to load data is very easy. Simple, we can copy and we can paste in file systems. File movement, one place to other place. Suppose for example, so in C drive, 
E drive, we have this file. This is the file, text file it is. If you want to move this one, so cut and paste here, simple. So one place to other place, if you want to move this file, it's so very easy. But disadvantage is relations. We cannot make any kind of relation file to file. Physically, we cannot establish file to file relation. Suppose, for example, here I have a department data. And in Excel, we have employee data. We know ourselves, department to employee relation is there. Which employee is working on which department? If you want to know what we required, relation is required here. But logically, we can establish the relation, but physically, then we cannot establish the relation in database uh, files. And also, if we are loading in Excel sheet, suppose for example, in Excel, two lakhs reports are there. In two lakhs reports, specific Hyderabad city information only, if you want to get. Only Hyderabad information, if you want to extract. So this one is difficult. If it is a document, or else PPT, or else in Excel file, data extraction. Data extraction will take a lot of time. That is what? To overcome this, there are introduced RDBMS systems, or else database management system, DBMS, database management system. In organized collection of way, wherever we are storing our data, that place we call it as a database. In one place we can store. Yes. See here, wherever our business is there, all business data we can load or physical entry or else automation Everything then we can go and we can load here. Keep on years and years and years. We can maintain our data under databases. That is what databases are familiar. See this one. File level data will be presented like this. Files data, text file data or this one is paint data, Excel, and PowerPoint. Yes, everything is data. Here something, some information is there. Here some information is there. And here some information is there. Here some information is there. File level, the data will be presented like this. But database level, in a database, must and should, unstructured manner, then we cannot load data into databases. <coughs> Two ways are there to store data in databases. Either two-dimension or in multi-dimensional format. X-axis and Y-axis and here, multi-dimension x and y and z also must and should if you want to store our data if you want to keep it in databases data should be arranged in data should be arranged in a organized collection of way not in unorganized collection
organized collection of information only, we can store in databases. Those areas, we call it as a database. So how many databases are there? These are all databases we have here. Familiar, C, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, PostgreSQL, Snowflake. So like this. So many databases are there. Different organizations providing different databases. And just like as our products, as for the requirement, then whatever we want, then we can purchase and we can use this database. Or either it is a PostGare, MySQL, SQL Server, or IBM DB2, Sybase, the first database in the world, Sybase. So this one is IBM Corporation. Release this database. Yes. Now see here how the data is going to be populated and stored according to RLC system, either in database or a file, how the data will load. See this one. These are all our methods for loading a data, either in a file or in database. How many methods are there, see here? These all methods we can use to store our data, either a file or in database. First one is application integration. It's a very frequent scenario. Application integration. Lot of applications we can see, virtual communications. Each and every business they have nowadays their own individual application to interact with the customers. IRCTC. Or book my show. Maybe I think you are familiar with this site. And then after Facebook, FB, and WhatsApp, all are what? Applications, right, wrong. What these applications are doing? Yes, some applications are shopping carts. Some applications are banking applications, some applications or reservation applications like this, lot of applications or, or some applications or community applications, FB, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. So this is all, these are all our communicational websites. <laughs> Directly, we need not to meet the person to talk through application we can send whatever we want right wrong so here these are all applications or designed by this print and languages like c c plus plus java and python Do you know this, all languages? If you don't know, please come to Amirpet. Lot of boards you can see. Okay. So these are all our applications to prepare. So virtual websites to communicate with customers. Whatever we are doing, suppose for example, if you are going to book the ticket, immediately what happened here is, then this is going to be load, the information is going to be load through the application 
into this backend level in a database. So and so person, so and so date, and so this is the travel time, and this is the train number. Every detail is going to be loaded in database. Okay, this is the way the data will complete. First method. Second method is manual entry. Yes, I have a small business is there with me. I'm selling some milk products in Hyderabad city. Milk products I'm selling. What I'm expecting is I want to store my business, what is going on daily, but I don't have a capacity to maintain this kind of system. Website and backend database and employees, then I can't maintain this is all. Why? Because my business is a very small business. But I want to track this business manually, then we can enter open Excel sheet. And I'm going to be right down. So on, so Subaru is purchased. Okay, two milk products today. Can we load the data right or wrong? Yes, yes we can do it. This is a second method. Third method is file import. We need not to create anything else. Okay, we can import the file from Google Drive. Today, I'm going to be sharing. SQL document. You can download it or not. You need not to create it. Just go and import the file. That's it. Okay. Data will load in your machine. And set fourth method. This is the very major method in data transformations. One place to other place. ETL. ETL means extract data from somewhere else. After extraction, transformation. Transformation means cleans the data and then load it into centralized godowns. That is, we call it as a centralized warehouses, oh. servers or warehouses. This is the way also one place to other place we can transform the data. Collect the data and then have to transform whatever the shape you want to make for that data, then load in somewhere else. This is the way also we can populate data. And second one is replication. See this one. So this is a replication is nothing but, see, suppose we have a smartphones. Each and every person have a smartphone, right? Maybe two, three, four. So each and every person have. There is an option is called as a synchronization. Do you know this synchronization? Your phone is going to be synchronized with your Google Drive. So what happened? Whenever we are taking a selfie, immediately the selfie is going to be copied into so Google Drive. Automatically, it's going to be synchronized. Then even though if our phone is corrupted, then we can get the data from Google Drive. This is the way also data will populate. These are all the methods to populate the data into system in different ways data will load. Okay, okay, fine. Then you can ask me the question, why boss you are saying all this story from yesterday onwards means to learn this SQL part. We are coming to this database, not files. Manual loads, these are all our manual or some are automations also, we can do it. See, major data, if one year data or else one lakh records, two lakhs records, then we can manage in Excel. Yesterday we had discussed about one scenario, bank in one branch in one city. Lacks of transactions will happen throughout the world. Trillions of transactions will happen. It's never ever possible to control by the files. 
So data loading is very difficult. Data extraction is very difficult. Data control is very difficult. Whenever we are maintainer files, that is what major data will be presented in databases only. IT percent of the data is going to be present in database. See, simple scenario, all networking web, networking sites, RL server, all networking SIM cards, network systems, geo, ITOL, whatever it is, at least they need to be maintained if they are going to be provide the SIM card to these customers. That SIM card information they need to be provided at least to four, it need, need to be maintained four months. If something is wrong happened, they need to submit it to the government. What this guy is doing or uh, what this guy did on Facebook, WhatsApp, messages, calls, everything, call record. Every record information, they need to be submitted to the government. So how many records will populate in that business? Trillions and trillions of record in one hour. Just one hour is enough. So why? Because we are parallelly, simultaneously, okay, we are rendering in WhatsApp and Facebook also. Okay? And call also. We are a talking call and we are messaging in WhatsApp and we are engaging in Facebook. Lot of activities we are doing in same parallelly in same time with the smartphones. Right? Trillions of records will populate. These are all if they want to be controlled. File systems are not enough. That is what we are coming for the databases. Okay. If we are if we want to interact with this database, yes, I want to say something. Insert one more record here. Six, course name, location, duration, feed, load. Or I want to delete this record. Or else I want to modify this value. Any action, if you want to say, to the database, what we required here is we required pure SQL is required, mandatory. Structured query language is required. Initially, they call it as a SQL. This is introduced early 1970s, IBM Corporation to speak with Sybase. Sybase is the first database in the world. Later, they are included this one in ANSI standard, American National Standard Institution. So now we call it as a SQL, it is structured query language. Before it is a structured English query language. Now it is only structured query language only. For what means? for to be communicate with all databases. Whatever relational database is there in a the world, this should have SQL only. See, best example is, I have a land in Hyderabad. My own land it is, empty land. Can I construct here 100 floors? No. Why? Because, because the government is there here. Right or wrong? Even though if it is on my own land, I don't have a permission here to construct 100 floors. Then must and should we need to take the approval from the government. If they are not provided, we don't have a chance. Same way here also, ANSI standard, American National Standard Institution is there here. Yes. If I'm a familiar in database, I can create here my own database, SREADB, Sridhar DB, but I need to follow ANSI standard. Right or wrong? That is what SQL is a common language to speak with all databases, like as a driving. 
if i know the driving i can handle any bike a little bit of environment will be a change okay that is only the difficulty but functionality is not going to be changed here that is my intention but see so telugu is a language or english is a language but if you are entered into the police station okay words will different speak will different if you are entered into the bank so speak will telugu only speak will different accounts loans insurance policies in bank they are not going to talk about thief okay or investigation these are all not if you are entered into this police station they don't talk about so accounts loans insurance their police is not going to be provide insurance okay so see the talk is going to be vary but language is the same according to the database what type of data you are going to be maintain in database level according to that this language speak is going to be vary okay and means interaction is going to be vary with user and database that is we call it as a sql okay fine how can we interact with this sql means all of you online guys so please share your mail ids and phone numbers under chat box today also yes i think maybe somebody or provided yesterday even though please provide me today also i will share with you two demo videos along with documentation for to understand better about this sql part see then go and learn sql not like for one database if you learn sql part we should speak with so all databases driving i am not going to be learn with only for pulsar okay or only for activa if i know the driving then i am able to handle any bike that is the way then we have to learn sql part also here database is a tool right wrong whatever it is database microsoft excel word ppt okay pdf all are tools softwares so if the software if you want to interact with any software what we required here is one system is required right or wrong without a system then we cannot communicate it okay under system platform is required platform is called as os different os available so os is a platform to interact with this machine suppose for example in your smartphone if you don't have android then we cannot interact with the phone right wrong same way here also system is required before going to be configure your tool here i am selected oracle database i am purchased from the oracle corporation oracle database then install in your system and one more i am purchased my system is capable and this is called as sql server microsoft database then so, along with this one more database i am purchased that is called as mysql okay so many databases we can maintain in one system right or wrong hmm. see sikandrabad railway station is a platform for what hmm. or for to passengers if they want to interact with the train platform is required if the platform is not there where the train arrivals departures will happen 
we cannot passenger cannot communicate with the train that is what different platforms are there okay so so on so train is coming on platform one then passengers can communicate it same process here also and this is sql server microsoft database it is and this one is teradata teradata corporation database it is just like as a bikes this one is activa sorry this one is pulsar royal enfield handley davidson okay all our databases only okay all databases are available in a system now i want to interact as an end user with this only but directly then i cannot communicate it why because this is a engine it is don't ask me to show the engine it's not like as a mechanical engine it is it's an algorithm it is so if you want to interact with this oracle or sql server then directly then i cannot communicate with this then here what we required is mediator is required that is we call it as a gui graphical user interface to interact with this databases okay if i want to speak with sql server through this we are communicating with the server and this tool we call it as a ss ms sql server management studio sql server management studio see here direct we cannot communicate with the engine so through this gui graphical user interface we are going to be interact with this server or if i want to speak with oracle one more tool is required there are providing here sql developer sql developer it is oracle sql developer through this sql developer then we can interact with the oracle so what we can store here this is a area container it is it is a room it is a one of the container so this container capacity is this much under this container whatever you want then you can store it in which format and that should be in this format only either a two dimension or in multi dimensional format so is this clear guys in my mission why i am saying all this means in my mission i have a two databases oracle sql server then i am going to be open to interact interact means i want to say something Uh, Rajender and who are in Zoom user, please provide your mail, phone numbers also. And rest of all guys who are not shared so far, your mails and phone numbers, please share. Right. See here now. First, I am going to be open SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. For what? for to interact with the sql server database sql server database is microsoft database that is providing by the microsoft organization then see immediately it is asking okay boss so which server you want to be connect here now i want to connect connection information see here database is there on this is your house simple architecture this is our house under house this is one of the room under room we have a different objects okay 
technically we call it as a server database and tables views like that okay so simple architecture house under house we can construct a different rooms right around for what for why we are creating these rooms bedroom kitchen hall yeah storing data here and here why we are creating all bedroom can't we maintain single room no. so once if we want to be maintain a single room we cannot organize the objects all kitchen objects bedroom objects everything is going to be cluttered here okay so that is what we are segregating into different parts to organize the objects in home okay so kitchen objects should be there in kitchen only we are not going to be placed in bedroom right so why because why we are segregated means to be organized easily that is what we are segregated this same way here also server in server this is we call it as a one container database under database yes what you want to store or a table or a view so whatever you want to store then go and store it here clear this is all we'll talk in deep in regular sessions so this is the thing but see i want to send some sort of a request to this database already one container is there here under this container some tables already created see this one these are all we are not created somebody else are created i have access now i want to see today what is there in this employee table just i meant to i don't know what they are stored here i want to see this information what they are entered here or what they are stored previous under the container of olt table then open a room database here i am asking select star from or else go and get the data from emp table i am asking what i am asking go and get the data from emp table okay this is my request i am selecting the request then execute see here execute means i am sending this request to the server send the request to the server what it is saying kirtunar see here incorrect syntax what you are speaking i don't know why because it is a pure in english format i can't understand what you are saying so it's not in grammatically syntactically wrong it is it's not in sql format right yes. so that we should specify select in database language i am saying start from emp employee table then go and send this request is coming on this is my request this one is a request and this is server response okay this is we call it as a communication between me and server i am requesting the server server according to the request it is responding me within fraction of seconds right or wrong so is which format it is it is in a pure table format see now complete all employee details employee id first name last name mail id everything it is provided total how many records how many employees 110 employees they are stored previous today we can see tomorrow we can see after one year also we can see once if your server is secured once if server is there you can see what it okay this was the way then we can communicate with the server 
but this is a Microsoft database. I'm speaking like this. But what about Oracle? Oracle is also what we are saying. Oracle is also one of the container to store our data, organize our data. I'm going to be open Oracle database here. See. SQL developer. So what tool it is? Oracle SQL developer to interact with the Oracle database, Oracle server. Here also we have databases, containers. Right wrong. Expand the containers. Database, I'm open. This is also asking about a password. Then go on. See here. Here also it is providing tables, views, indexes, packages, procedures. Lot of things it is providing. This is the Oracle server. And this one is SQL server, right? This is a Microsoft database. And this one is Oracle database. And this is a Hyundai bike. And this one is Bajaj bike. Clear? Concept is clear. Don't remind bikes only. Remind this point. Why I'm saying those are all to understand easily. So see here, what I'm saying is expand the tables here. Here also I have employees, but name is different, right? Then I want to get back this employees data also, or else department data. So same process, select start from departments. Select this. Run. Send the request to the server. Complete it is provided. Department information in table format only. Right or wrong? My language is changed. See here. Language is not changed. Why? Because it is an ANSI standard. Okay. All should be follow this format. Right? This is the way then we are going to be communicate with the databases. Once if you know the functionality, SQL language or query writings, if you are learned properly, then we can go and we can apply the query in anywhere else. But we need to strong on query writings, how to write the queries. So that should be learned properly. The syntactical format is not at all a matter it is. Then we can Google it on the fly. Okay, then so we can go and we can rectify the syntax. But logically we should be strong or conceptually we should be strong to write the queries. Clear? This is the way then we are going to be learning the subject. That doesn't matter here who are you, are you are a developer, application developer, or a BI developer, all should have a day start onwards. We have to interact with the data. If you want to interact with the data, database is mandatory. Maybe they can provide you Oracle, or SQL Server, or a MySQL, or a PostgreSQL. Okay, any database. So, but language is same, speak is same, and talk is same. So that is the way, then go on learn, we are going to be learn this complete SQL course, right? And this course is going to be covered here, and one more command C. I'm going to be create table, new table. So that is, I want to store my order information, orders. Here, I want to store order ID. Then after order location, okay. Then product name or quantity.
So how many products are sold? This is the information that I want to store. See here, till we don't have any order table here, right? Now I want to create this one. What is my request is, I am saying to the server, create one table like this. It should have a three columns. First column is order ID. Second column should be a location. Third column should be a quantity. This complete structure name is called as orders. This request I'm sending to the server, then go and execute it. Once we click on this, what the server is saying is, your command is successfully completed. Pass what you said, that is completed. Then see, right click, refresh this tables. Orders is there or not? Expand this table. See the columns. What are the columns we are taking the same columns are there here. But till we don't have any data in this orders. Only just a structure we are created. From today onwards, I can load my data years and years and years in this table level. Same table I want to be maintained here also. I want to create it correctly. Two rooms. Under this room also, then I want to create orders table. <coughs> See now, same command. What happened? Table orders created. Okay. So, then go and refresh here. See the orders table is there or not? Okay, same process. So, this was the way that we are going to be communicate with the databases. Two different databases, Microsoft database and then Oracle database. So here we are going to be provide the complete deep discussion on SQL Server. And this is the complete course will take 45 hours. Daily one hour session. 45 to 6. 50 hours it will take, okay, to be finished. Daily one hour session, Monday to Friday. And Saturday is optional. Then I will take two Saturdays for practical, okay. Complete practical session which I am practicing, which I am doing here. That is yourself, you have to do it to yourself. Okay, on the fly. Then, so project explanation. And it's completely under, it's a near to the real time. I'm not saying complete real time. It is, we cannot stimulate real time projects here. The why? Because billions of records and billions of server maintenance and server setups then we cannot establish outside. So at least you can, once if you done this yourself, so 80% of the knowledge what exactly is going on in enterprise level, then we can get this idea. Okay, that is I can provide you. And this course is going to be cover all these topics in deep. Two parts here we are going to be cover SQL and TSQL or else PLSQL. Procedural language and transact SQL it is. Here we require some sort of programming is required like C, C++, Java. But we don't require to learn Java, PHP and all. I will explain point to point clear here. That's a minimal fundamental programming language enough here. That is I will I will guide you. Then all materials, each and every topic material, live videos, whatever we are going to be discussed daily. 
So that video then you will get on that day to your mail ID for to recap. Then practical implementations. Each and every topic wise, I will provide you the practicals. Then the FAQs. Final document I will give you with the 300 questions. More than 300. Most probably practical implementations only. What they are going to be ask you, the crash questions in interviews. That is on the fly, you have to write a query. In interview, they don't ask about what is mean by the SQL and the S and Q. Okay. So they will ask this complete practical implementations. These questions are more than enough to crack your interviews. And after the completion of this course, then you are eligible to please, okay, to prepare a resume four plus years. Or you can combine with your technology, Power BI with SQL, or .NET with SQL, or a Java with SQL, or plain SQL also, then you can place. Only SQL developer. Okay. So then I will give you the help on resumes. Okay. If you want any help to prepare a resume according to your experience and your any kind of guidelines you want, then I will tell you. I will guide you personally on resume preparations. Okay, according to your academics and gap, and according to that, then I will guide you. So I will give you the samples for to prepare resumes. So or else if you want to prepare me and me myself, I will prepare according to your career and all then i will prepare and i will give okay so this was the way the lectures will continue from tomorrow onwards the regular session will start same time eight to nine so i will share with you already i shared yesterday today also i'm going to be shared to you so this was the content we are going to be covered in deep in sql part this was the content, deep content it is. For each and every topic, almost here we have a 27, 28 topics of that. Each and every topic. <coughs> Clear from end to end, then I will cover. Don't worry here. And you are coming from technical background or non-technical background. So we are going to be considered here freshers and technical, non-technical and experienced guys. Slow down will come down to this deep subject from basics to advanced subject. Okay. So, and these are all the topics in deep we are going to be covered here for each and every topic wise. I will share with you this document also. Please go and see the document. So this was the committed com topics we are going to be covered. That's what it is going to take almost uh, 45 to 50 hours it will take. So online guys, if you have any questions, please raise your questions one by one. Um, I have one question. Uh, I just want to understand, do we see the, uh, I mean, uh, do we fetch data through API also? Or is just like we store data into the database and then we run our queries? Mm, I didn't get the point. I mean, uh, do we see exactly how data fetch through API to the database and then we can run our query kind of thing or it's like store data where we run the queries? No, it's not related to any application and it's okay. related to the database topics only. Okay. We are not okay. going to be cover here any kind of application to uh, data, data integrations. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, only it's complete uh, related to the back end SQL part of it. Okay.
But if you want, then I will show you JSON file really, how to read the JSON files automatically and how to load into the database. That is the script I will show you. Ah, sure. so how to write in SQL pure to read the SQL JSON data, then I will show you. That's more than enough it is. Okay. Write your simple queries in your .NET, your application side. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, anything else apart from this, guys? Put it in share till your mails and phone numbers. Please share your mails and phone phone numbers. Or otherwise, then I cannot send to you this uh, demo videos and documents. And Rasul, Nuri, Nitin, Mahesh, Siddharth. It's already shared, sir. Yeah, I shared too. Now, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. No, as of whom, my head no. no so, question. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thanks for your uh, attending the second demo. And my team will get back to you for further confirmations. Tomorrow onwards, the regular session will start at the same time, 8 to 9. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.